to the cabin guys yeah we're back here and ah, it's so nice to be back behind me I don't know if you can hear it you can hear the geese there's also some trumpeter swans um, making some noise this morning so pretty excited to be back take a look around that snow is gone I cannot believe it well, I guess I can the field is very uh, obviously quite open and the Sun is very very strong and there she is well, the snow is melting away and Royce is scenting away at everything, finding his old chipmunk holes. Is it ever a gorgeous day here? Going to go up to 15 degrees. Can you believe that? So keep him entertained for hours. On the agenda today is I got to get those uh, maple taps in. Uh, hopefully we'll get some sap running today once it gets a little bit warmer and the sun's up a bit further. I want to get my syrup for the season. Getting breakfast going here. <laughs> I don't know, I just sort of stuck this on the flat top. Why not? Let me get some bacon going in just a second as well. Chef Royce. So French toast and I've got some hash browns. So it smells good already. There we go. There we go. Like I said, a lot of real estate on this grill, guys. I'm super happy with it here at the cabin. I do have to have a different setup, though, um, for making breakfast. I gotta, maybe we'll make a little breakfast gazebo. I don't know. No, just like a cooking gazebo or something. Because right by in front of the cabin, that's where I used to cook. And this uh, thing's a little bit bigger than that. So, need a different spot for it. Well, another delicious yam breakfast. So I'm gonna have this, and then we gotta get uh, tapping those trees. Cause it is warming up quickly. It's feeling so nice outside. Uh, the cabin's super warm, so I actually just turned off the heater. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome day. So uh, great breakfast, great way to start the day. We got some work to do. This is the last of the maple syrup from last year that I got at the cabin. I got quite a lot last year, and thankfully I've got enough to get me through so I've got these pails here. There's some 20 liter pails. I've got about four of them. And I've also got some in the shed as well. So uh, I gotta get these set up. Uh, I'm gonna drill a hole uh, just up here because the uh, tubing's gonna come in through the back. Because um, I like to put the, the lids on top. So, um, you know, it's gonna rain actually this week. So I don't need a bunch of rain or bugs or whatnot getting into them. So these are the pails that I'm gonna use. Ugh, shed's an absolute mess, but there's the pails from last year under here. So I'm gonna get these out as well. Oh boy, once I'm done tapping the trees, looks like I have a huge project in my hand to organize this shed. <laughs> what a disaster. And here I have all my drop lines and uh, these are the taps I put in. So they're pretty small. There's a very small wound in the tree. So uh, got my drill bit somewhere here too. Yeah, right here. This is my drill bit. So I'm just gonna get these set up and we'll get them into the buckets. So here I am at one of my maples and I've got my drill with a 5 16th drill bit and uh, I've got the, the drop line and I've just got some sort of main line that will go into a bucket. So I want to tap at least sort of chest height and uh, I've tapped this tree before um, so I'm just going to go uh, some distance from the, you know, the tap hole from last year and uh, we'll get these taps installed. So you can see there's a little tiny hole from last year, a little wound in the tree. That'll heal up over time. I've tapped lots of maple over the last, oh, 13 years or so, and uh, they will um, they will uh, disappear over time. But you don't want to, you know, drill right next to it or something like that. I kind of go either in a little bit of a spiral, just a few inches over there. So that's what we're going to do. There's my freshly drilled hole and you can see it's still a bit cool out this morning. The sap hasn't started running. Sometimes if it's warm enough and you start drilling, the sap just starts running like crazy out of here. But uh, it's not warm enough yet. 
All right, I've got the taps placed. And gently pop them in, try not to break them. I mean, they're pretty sturdy, but. Just drilled in the sunny side of the tree and look at this hole right here it's in the shadows there. It's running. There's the sap. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, so sweet. Now, I don't know if you guys know, you can actually buy maple sap in the stores. Like it's pasteurized. Uh, you know, lots of nutritional benefits, minerals, whatever. It just tastes good. Oh, that's really sweet. Ah, oh, the taste of spring. Put my hammer back. It's first year tapping with this guy, and he's of course extremely excited about the whole situation and getting in my way here. Okay, give me this back. Ah, ah. Oh. Strong too. You lift up that hammer. Hey, give me my hammer back, please. All right, you can see it's dripping there. Got two drop lines there, and I just got a bit of a a wide juncture and that's going to go into a small little line that'll go into the pail. It's running good today guys. Just show you the whole setup here. So there's the drop line, a little T juncture, my Y juncture rather. And then uh, yeah, it just goes into the pail like that. You can see it's running really well and we're just going to pop a lid on top. So uh, having that hole drilled in the side prevents, um, you know, if it rains, going into the hole in the top of the bucket or something like that. So I have the old fashioned metal pails. Those are really cool. Um, but this is just a far more convenient way of doing it these days. So just pop one of these little lids on there and we'll seal it down really well. That way if it rains or whatnot, just water will just sort of pool on the top. So there you go. There's my big old tree. It's a cabin. I won't put more than four taps in a tree this size. It's just uh, that's just enough, but it can support that. It's a very large old tree. But I've got a few more um, spiles, so I'm just going to find another maple to pop them in. I must say I'm a bit worried about uh, spoilage and spoilage bacteria uh, with the maple this year. It's going to be pretty warm over the coming week, so. And I usually like tapping when there's a bit more snow in the bush, so I can kind of pile the snow around it, keep it fresh. Um, that kind of crusty snow right now, so it's going to be challenging for me, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on things. Um, usually I'll just leave the buckets up here for like a week or so, come back up, collect them, that kind of thing. So I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to be really, really careful. I'm not used to you know, sort of end of the season when we get this kind of warm up, like the 11, 15 degrees, things start getting buddy and stuff like that. So um supposed to get warm for this week and then drop back down cool again so I'm gonna have to be careful and boil the sap pretty quickly. Now here's a maple I tapped a really long time ago. I just put another set of taps in here. I was looking along here and I found my old tap hole. I must have put a little old piece of stick in there um, and uh, yeah that's pretty cool. That Oh my gosh I probably tapped this one five or six years ago actually and let it be for a while. Oh, we're back in action. Alrighty, I just got my last tap in. So right now I've got uh, eight taps on the go, which is reasonable. We'll see what we get this year. I'm a bit worried, like I said, about those temperatures, but it'll be something. I'll have some maple syrup for the year. That's where I left the snowmobile the last time I was here. So I got to summarize it and put it away because there's really, <laughs> you can see my trails, eh? Like really packed down, but uh, got to put it away. After this weekend, I think snow will be gone. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the tree planting and ordering situation. So I was able to, um, you know, get my tree order placed. Thank goodness. I was worried uh, online there was some issue saying that I need to buy like a hundred of each kind of tree that I wanted, which I thought was a bit extreme. So um, that issue's resolved. I don't have to do that. Thank goodness. So pretty excited. I'm going to get some red oak this year, red pine, uh, nanny berry, black willow, and some pussy willow to put around the cabin. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this year. Uh, some of the shrubs, uh, get those going as well. Um, yeah, pretty pumped about that. Uh, a lot of the trees that I have here have done very, very well. In particular, the white pine, the red pine, and the jack pine have done really, really well. They're out of the jack pine right now, but there may be some extra ones left over uh, another month or so. So when I go to pick up my order, I might grab uh, 10 or 20 jack pine as well. So you can see my jack pine right here. Few rows of them here some of them have done very poorly with uh had some insect damage you can see this one here got 
hit really hard um, with caterpillars last year. So it's trying to come back. You got to give it credit. <laughs> it looks a little haggard, like a lot of us during this pandemic. <laughs> but uh, there's still hope. Look at that. Some of these are extremely healthy looking. I look at this one in comparison. Like, look at that. Beautiful. Some actually had uh, cones last year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, some of my white pine over here. You just kind of see them dotting the landscape. Uh, jack pine's doing really, really well. So I want to get more of these. They tend to just do really well in this spot. These trees were naturally seeded. Take a look at that. This was all grass eight years ago, and now it's a beautiful pine forest starting here. And they've got cones on the trees. I'm so excited. It's a lot of, uh, I like to say it's hard work on our part, but it's not. This is all natural. The only thing we do here is sort of thin them out a little bit. So making a forest, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I love this time of year. There's no bugs, I guess, except for the snow fleas. But, uh, you know, uh, black fly season will be here within a month. <laughs> it's going to get kind of annoying out here. But uh, oh, right now it's awesome. Great time to get out and do some spring camping. I think I have some plans to do some spring camping in the next two weeks. So I'm very excited. Speaking of insects, there is a spider just waking up. It's doing a little bit of work around the shower house. Oh my god, don't jump on me. Really slow. <laughs> it's going to start raining this week actually, so uh, I think it's safe enough to get the, uh, the barrel all set up here. I mean, even if it freezes a bit at night, it's not going to be uh, so frozen solid it's going to expand and break or anything like that, so... We good. Start our water collection for the shower. Well, you guys remember what the shed looked like before, and now it's all clean. You can walk in. You can work on the workbench. So uh, that's really nice. Oh, I love doing spring cleaning. Makes me feel great. The next project uh, under this uh, tarp is the lawnmower. It has a blown head gasket, so i got to fix that so I can make some more pathways in the field in the spring. Right now the tarp's frozen to the ground, so I've got to wait for it to thaw out. One of the projects I'm working on is I have a little tiny bit of a propane leak I can smell, so I've been soaping up every connection and tightening the connections. I can smell it kind of around here, and I tightened these ones in here, so I'm thinking that's the trick. I don't see anything foaming anywhere else that it shouldn't, so I think I'm good to go. Well, after all this work this morning, I'm going to have hot dogs and salad, and then I'm going to finish up with... Uh, a little bit of a maple pie. Oh yeah, getting in the spirit, guys. Looking good. Well, I just took him on his final snowmobile ride of the year. There's still a little bit of snow left there in the bush, so I decided to, to take him on a little farewell tour. So I'm gonna put the snowmobile back now and uh, summarize the engine. And that'll be it for the year. It's getting really warm out. It feels weird on the machine in this kind of heat. <laughs> it's nice to connect with the ground again. <sighs> Watching the birds. Voices over there. <laughs> the ground is cool, but you know what? It feels pretty good. Some leaves on my feet. <sighs> Can't wait to wear sandals again. I'm gonna try to walk over here in the snow because I'm just that kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> ooh, that feels good. Oh my god, it's hurting. <laughs> well, this won't be here very long, so <sighs> very good. I'm sure people pay a lot of money to do something like this at a spa. Royce is so proud of himself. He just flushed about four grouse out from uh, underneath some of the trees here just on our afternoon walk and uh yeah we'll see how this little quail raising project goes at least they're going to be uh in a cage protected from him but uh yeah he was basically you know running along the side of the uh field as it meets the woods there and he just stopped and stared at something and all of a sudden uh, see about four grouse flushing out from underneath some of the trees so uh, i think they're going to be thinking about mating pretty soon i haven't heard them starting to drum but i think tomorrow we'll probably hear some for sure Well, it was a really productive day. Just relaxing now by the fire. Ah, beautiful sky. Lots of stars out and the moon's out. I wish I could show you guys 
but I don't think it'll come up too clearly. I'll try. But uh, it's one of my favorite times of year. Springtime, everything's renewing, hope for the new year. No bugs. <laughs> A nice, clean, fresh air. Can't beat it. Well, thanks so much for joining me on today's adventure, guys. I hope you have an awesome week, and uh, happy spring. See you in the next video. Take care.